All right, so before we get started, we're gonna take a look. There are three C8Rs here. Steve, which one are you gonna take? You know, I don't know. There is three of them, and I don't think it really even matters. The only question I've got is, since these are, what, they make a thousand of these, and they're supposedly so rare. Yeah. I don't think they're that rare. They're not, yeah, they're not that rare. They're rare on the road. <laughs> Yeah. But they're not rare for Corvette World. This, there was one here the last time I was here as well. But this one I like because this one has, they've wrapped the mirrors with the red and on the back of the wing, they put the red on the side and apparently this is becoming a huge thing is, is the red on the side, like the C8, the oh, actual C8 R. I like it, but to me, uh, I kind of feel like this is a Ronald McDonald car. <laughs> so for yeah. me, I wouldn't touch this. I, I actually like this. I'm gonna do this to my C8, but I'm gonna do the same body color. This was yellow, yeah. I would like it, but I don't know. I don't feel like I need to go have a, a Big Mac. See, and, and that, that's what I was considering myself is, you know, I'm gonna have the high wing. I don't know if I want it in red on the side or not. But these are actually, two of these are the coupe and one of these are the hard top convertible. And that's the thing. So they made them in hypersonic gray and they made them in accelerate yellow. So obviously the hypersonic gray is gonna have yellow stripes as opposed to the gray stripes. You have these right here, obviously all accelerate yellow. Then you had your hard top and then you had your coupe. So I believe it was like a thousand that they produced of these. I'm not gonna guarantee it, but I believe it was a thousand. And these are the two, two of the variables of the accelerate yellow that you have here. Hey guys, welcome back to Front Seat Driver. My name is Jason. Today we are at Corvette World in Carrollton, Texas. We're gonna take a look around at what all cars they have today. They have a ton. So let's go ahead and let's get started right now. So the first car we're going to look at today is a black 2013 ZR1. And this is the king of the C6, the ZR1. And it is a 2013 with 21,176 miles for 82,995. But check out this interior. This thing is immaculate. And obviously you're going to have your manual transmission on the ZR1, but look at the carbon fiber roof. Look how nice that weave is. I don't know if it's gonna come through on the phone, but look at that, absolutely magnificent. Same on the side skirts. It does have the chrome wheels on this one, but look at the quality of this front splitter. Still an absolute perfect shape. Such a nice car, 82,995. We have a 2015 C7 Stingray. It is a 3LT, but since this is a 2015, you will see it doesn't have the front cameras on here. So if you need those front cameras, if you're not somebody who likes to park and reverse a lot, then you need over a 2015. But look, more importantly, it is a manual transmission. Very nice. I think these manuals are going for a lot more, or at least a little more than the autos. Definitely a nice one here. It's got the black stinger stripe. This one even has front splitter, the full length side skirts, does have the chrome wheels. But you know, if you're buying a Stingray, they don't come standard with the front splitters or the side skirts. So this has definitely got some extra stuff on it for you. So we have a 2019 Long Beach Red, 12,981 miles, 63,995. It does have the black Stinger stripe. It is a convertible, has the full length side skirts on this Stingray as well. This one is an auto. It's a one LT, but like I said, you got your full length side skirts there. You got your XL rock guards on the front. Very nice. This one is in really, really nice shape. Of course it is 2019. We have a black 2021, 1492 miles on this C8. One of the things I like on this is that it has the red seat belts. What do you guys think about that? It has the GT2 bucket seats. It is a 3LT as well. Very nice. Has your stock wheels. These are the ones that I ordered. One of my faves. Absolutely love this. Arctic white. It's got the black and natural interior, hard top convertible, painted cells. It has the painted roof. Ha, oh, very nice. 2023, only four miles, 115.995. And it is a 2LT Z51. And this one actually has a front end lift on it. So if you're living in a place where you have a lot of 
bad driveways or whatever. This is the perfect car. I will tell you, I am a huge fan of the front end lift. I did not do it on mine, but I absolutely love it. Had it on the Lambo. Definitely think it's worth the money. 2021, 786 miles, red mist, 109, 995, hard top convertible. This one has the paint matched roof, Z51, Trident wheels, jet black interior, looking so good. And it's got the red seatbelts as well. What do you guys think about the red seatbelts? Do you like them? I definitely think they look pretty good. Nice Z06, let's go ahead and change it up. Let's go back to some Z06s here real quick, some C7s. 2016, 23, 558 on the miles, 75, 9, 95. This front splitter is in fantastic shape. Those things get beaten up pretty good. It's got the full-length side skirts. And this one is an auto. Got the, G, the uh, touring seats. And it is a 2LZ. Very nice. Here's a 2015 Stingray. It's got chrome wheels. 29, 437 on the miles, 51, 9, 95. Let's check out the interior on this one. And this one is an auto. Very nice. Another Arctic White, 2021, 7,044 miles, 99, 9, what is it? 99, 9, 95. <laughs> I had to look at that twice to get the number out. But check out that interior. I love the hardtop convertible. Z51, black wheels. Nice little stormtrooper running down the road right here. Robert, caffeine on this one right here? Okay, so Robert has confirmed this is caffeine. I thought it was caffeine. Oh, it has to be caffeine. It's a 23. I didn't look. Yeah, they call it caffeine to John. I'm seeing the natural. That is a uh, 2LT with the uh, Trident wheels and the black uh, MPD it, exhaust. The black MPD. Yeah, we're going to go check that out real quick. And it's got the natural and black. Yeah. This is a non Z51 hardtop convertible, but if you can see it right here, it's got the black tips that are available now for 2023. But this caffeine, if you haven't seen caffeine in person, you really have to see it. It is such a beautiful color. But this one is, like I said, 2023, 55 miles, 109.95. So we have a 2011 Grand Sport in supersonic blue. They made this color for three years, 11, 12, and 13. It's got 32,821 miles for 42,995. And it's got the gray interior and black, oh, very nice. And this one is an auto. Like I've said so many times, the C6 Grand Sport's been one of my favorite cars forever. I don't know, I just love the way the vent looks on the side. Saw one many times by my house and every time I would see it, I was like, man, I want that car. We have 2009 black Z06 chrome wheels, and this thing is super clean. 2009, 57, 788 on the miles, 41, 995. Check this out. And obviously it's gonna be a manual, but that interior ooh, is still really, really, really nice. Super clean. Look at this. So if you're in the market for a Z06, this puppy is nice. Now, of course, you know yellow, obviously. This would be mine if I was choosing. 2006, 13,664 miles, 45,995. Look at the wheels, very, very nice, obviously. Also, manual transmission on this. Gray and black interior, super nice. So here we have a 2019 Corvette Racing Yellow Grand Sport, and this is an automatic transmission. Very nice interior. Everything in here is gonna have a clean interior. It's got the stage one rear spoiler back there. It does have the three quarter length side skirts on, as you'll find on most of your Grand Sports, and it has the stage one, basically your plastic front splitter. I would probably go ahead and get with ACS to get the stage two front splitter, but look at this, the Jake Skull. Ha, one of my favorite things ever. Always loved the Jake Skull. But this one is very, very reminiscent of mine, but mine is a Z06. Shark Gray, 2016, 30,184 on the mile, 75, 995. You have your competition seats. Stage two, rear spoiler. 
and you have carbon fiber on the side skirts. This is not a Z07 package. You do have carbon fiber on the front splitter as well. But who agrees with me that this is one of the best colors ever made in gray by GM. Hypersonic gray, shark gray, two of my favorite grays. Here we go, Laguna Blue. Laguna Blue Grand Sport 2019, 14,308 miles, 72,995. And it has your stage two front splitter, full length side skirts, stage two rear spoiler. Which, okay, so again, this is a Grand Sport. So look, this one has the full length side skirt, which generally comes on Z06s. This Z06 has the full length just to show you the difference. So there's your three quarter length side skirt. So that's the difference between the standard Grand Sport and one with the full length side skirts. Which one do you guys like better? I think they're both cool. So here's another Torch Red Grand Sport 2019, 58,103 miles, 57,995. Not bad, but I guess that's due to the higher mileage. This one is an auto. Let's see. It is a 1LT, but it is in excellent shape for a car with 58,000 miles. That's amazing how nice this is. So obviously they may have driven it a lot, but they did not leave it out in the sun to get baked. This thing's in excellent shape. Stage one rear spoiler on this one. Arctic white, Grand Sport, convertible. Unfortunately, not a hard top convertible like the new C8s. It's got the chrome wheels three quarter length side skirts like you would normally find on there. 2019, only 2,141 miles, 73,995. It's got the adrenaline red seats and it is an auto. Very nice. So we got some C8s over here, but let's check this out. It looks like they moved one of the C8s out of here that was here the other day but I love these two. Of course, you have the coupe right here. So you can see your engine and your engine bay through that window. And then you have your hard top convertible, which you cannot see the engine bay. I still did hard top convertible, so I'm okay with it. And then we have a Sebring orange C8 right here with is that red seat belts. Yes, it is. And your GT2 company or GT2 seats, Trident wheels, Racing stripe, huge fan. Always love the racing stripes. Z51, and I don't see a price on this one yet, so I don't know if it's, I assume it's for sale pretty soon. So you got the paperwork in the window, but we'll keep up more with that later. But we're about to go check out one of the coolest cars, brand new. Oh, before we do, here's one of the best additions that they made of the C7 on the Grand Sport. The Admiral edition, got Admiral Blue, paint with the white stripe the white racing stripe white singer stripe and of course it's a heritage edition so you have your heritage red heritage stripe so you have your red white and blue this car is all about america love it red seat belts on here red paddle shifters it is an automatic very nice look at that i don't have the price on this one either it's not on there does have the chrome badging probably would switch that out to carbon flash c6 grand sport convertible i don't see the price on these either i don't know if these are already sold i guess i need to talk to robert suan about that but still very nice so if you're interested they do currently have this white c6 okay so i saved the best for last this is a 2023 hypersonic gray the cool thing about this hypersonic gray is it's the new stealth edition it's got the new stealth package it has the black right there you see the black tailpipes it comes with the forged wheels and the stealth interior check this out so all around the speaker is black instead of the chrome these pieces right here are blacked out along in the speaker right there is also black so all of your little accent pieces that are usually that aluminum color, that billet aluminum color like that is now black. So I think that's pretty cool. I unfortunately did not get to order mine. Here's another area where it's all black. Very nice. I, I do like the stealth edition. What do you guys think? 
I, I would like to tell you the cost. Actually, do you know what the cost is on the Stealth Edition when you? Uh, don't hold me to this, but I think it's, e it's either 595 or 9995. That's not bad. If it's, especially if it's 595, think, that's I, fantastic. Yeah, I think, I think it's gonna be one of those two. I had, I didn't get a window sticker with this one, so I'm not sure. I yeah. Don't, I don't know exactly, but my guess would be it's one of the two. Okay, so either 599, 595 or 995. Okay, cool. Yeah, I definitely think I would do it. I love the look to it. Absolutely. The only thing that I wish they would have done is they would have done the back speaker plate the same too. At the bottom, they did like, well, I guess the top, the top's always black though, isn't it? Well, I'm talking about this. I'm talking about this. Okay, so they do this, but they still left that brushed aluminum. Okay, see, I thought that was the, um, it looked black from the angle that I had. Yeah, no, it's it's just because of the lighting. No, it's still brushed aluminum. Okay. I Dude. wish they had to black this out too and maybe did a special like black Absolutely badge. Absolutely, for the seven years. For the cell. I think exactly. that would have finished it out. Yep. It would have made it perfect, but it's still really cool. Definitely like it. So this is the hypersonic gray, of course, hard top convertible, painted roof, carbon flash painted roof, carbon flash painted nacelles. And this one is a believe it's a 2LT. Yes, it is a 2LT. Very nice. What do you guys think? Hypersonic gray is such a great color, in my opinion. Of course, it's got the high wing. And uh, did you notice this about these? Did you see this? Oh, no, I did not. So basically, your Corvette flag. Exactly. See, there's always something cool that they do that I don't always well, notice. And again, and as I understand it, and I, you know me, I'm the Corvette nerd. They've never done that before. <laughs> no, that's really before cool. I had a rim that actually put a shape like that in there. See, and now, they. If I'm wrong, you know, I don't tend to be. Probably perfect. not. It probably is the first time because, yeah. you know, but they do little cool things like that. Well, you don't have one here, but the C5, remember the molding made the tail for the Stingray, which exactly. I always thought was really yes, cool. Yes, exactly. So, again, once again, it's subtle, and I wonder how many people noticed that. I would never have noticed it. Now that you pointed out, I can't not see it. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. But I did not notice that prior. Yeah. 